So I'm Jane Raper, I'm a biomedical scientist and I work on parasites of the African continent. And the one nearest and dearest to my heart is the African trypanosome, which causes sleeping sickness in humans. And Nagana, which is an African name in cattle, which means wasting. And it causes extreme poverty in the center of Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa. So a parasite is an organism that cannot live by itself and it has to have a host in order to survive. And the parasite we work on has chosen to actually live in all animals, including human beings. And so it's known as a zoonosis in science because it infects a zoo of animals, for example. So trypanosomes are single-celled parasites. They have a long, thin body, and they have a flagellum that runs along, along that body that helps them swim and, and wiggle inside of our blood. And their primary aim is simply to grow. So cows that get um, infected by trypanosomes will ultimately suffer a wasting disease that's known as cachexia. And this is when they lose all muscle mass and they essentially look like somebody who's got cancer. And one could think of it like that because this parasite divides every six hours to tremendous numbers inside of the animal's blood. And the way they're transmitted there is by a fly called a tsetse fly. And this tsetse fly is prevalent in the entire center of Africa in an area that is the size of the United States of America. And so this is a disease that causes masses of poverty because it kills masses of livestock. So they cannot be used for haulage, they cannot be used for plowing fields, and they cannot be used for producing milk. So all of the things that a farmer relies on for cattle to bring them prosperity are gone once these cattle get infected. So our aim is to make animals that are resistant to the disease so that people can get themselves out of poverty. And the way we're going to do that is take a gene from a baboon that has been resistant for eight million years, living in the African continent very successfully, and give this gene and the resistance to the cattle population in Africa so that people can have a couple of cattle and get on with their lives.